I'm no, saying, man, build. So go out and date, man. So you're saying you're going to you gonna deal, talk to another girl, but you ain't going to try to do nothing. You look for a friend. And then, no, actually, for real, yes. I swear on everything. And then, but you know what? The women love that, though. Because now they trying to, they want to be that one to, like, get you to change your mind and try to bro. take it from you. I'm telling you, bro. I'm not believing you. I'm Yo, not believing man, you. Man, bro. Understand. You just try. You just don't try to, you know, give me the soft or the spoon feed me something because you think it's going to hurt me. I'd rather you tell me the truth and it hurt uh -huh. than you to, you know, keep it bottled in or lie to me to try to conserve my feelings. Forget that. Man, I, it's so yeah. many, it's so many people I know that started their workout journey. Not, not G, but like other people I know. They started because they a breakup. Yeah. Dead you know, serious. That'll yeah. change your life. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make her, but she never mess with yeah. <laughs> So how do y'all deal with breakups? I know, like, I checked out your episode on your podcast mm -hmm. about men don't heal. Mm -hmm. Y'all go check that episode out. We'll put it in the description. Yeah, but uh, I think that one was powerful. I love the perspective. And it basically gave, like, women and men deal with breakups completely differently. Mm -hmm. how, how do y'all deal with breakups? Man. You want to go first, G? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead, because brace for my response. All right, well, all right, so I, I tell y'all the old way I used to handle breakups, and then the new way. You're talking about the, the young you, the teenage yeah, you, and the, the grown man you. Yeah, yeah, right, okay. The, yeah. the more, um, what's the word I would say? Mature. I would say, I don't know. The, I, I want to say the savage way now, but I ain't gonna say that. I ain't no savage. But yeah, I just say, when I was younger, um, it's something about me, it's hard to let things go. Mm -hmm. So when you invest time and energy in a person, back then it was tough for me to let that person go because I'm like, man, we didn't set this up, we didn't did this, we didn't did that. And I thought about like a life with that person. Right. You know, like people don't understand that like everything comes to the end. Yeah, it's a relationship, oh, bro. Yeah, build it. yeah. Man, look, hey, like I said, the thing is different dynamics right here. I yeah. came from a marriage, like I seen my parents married. So I always knew marriage was going to be a goal, goal of mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You dated with intention. Exactly. Kind of, oh, actually, yeah, I did. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. After I and I had like a two or three year plan. After like two after two years. I would assess my relationship and then be like, you know what? Is it somebody I can marry or is it somebody I can't? And if I can't, I start fading back. He put everything, see, he find that. He put everything Yo, in the mind. I, I, he I'm put in all the categories that Yo, I got to assess analyze, this. I'm analyzing everything. So okay. with that Good. being said, like, it was tough for me to, to let stuff go. And it was tough for me to, I guess, see, the, see how great I was. You mm. know what I'm saying? Sometimes we put our value and somebody yeah, else, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So for me, when a woman left me, I took it personally. Like, yo, it's something about me. I'm not good enough. I'm not this. I'm not that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that was the old way. So I'll be like, yo, why don't you want me and this and that? And why can't you be with me? That was a mistake on all of that. <laughs> Y'all gotta go check out my podcast. <laughs> Made it through 2018. I break oh, yeah. down going through my divorce and all the shit out. The wild all shit. These episodes right here. Yo, you got to. You the got wild to. shit I was doing. They try to get my ex back. Like begging, like keep sweating, doing all the wrong stuff. And that stuff, was the wrong man. stuff right there. All the wrong fellas do not beg. Do not, do not beg. beg. Don't, don't, beg. Yeah. don't beg, man. Because I did it and she it was I was looking man. crazy. Yes. That's absolute. So the now, way she looked at me, she was like, like, nigga. What's wrong with you? So was this the teen? This was like the teenage slash like twenty year old you. This no, this went up to about twenty six. I was like 26, 27. Dang. Then when I went through yeah. my divorce and I started going through, you know, working on myself. <laughs> now I'm like the complete opposite now. Yeah, like right. yo, now I'm like yo. Jeez. If you want to stay Ow. with me, you can stay. If you don't want to go, you can go. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't keep. Sad, sad, I don't man. keep nobody anymore. But. That's a beautiful thing. We talked about unconditional love and stuff like that. I yeah. love people. 
for who they are. I'm not trying to force right. them to be a certain type of way. I'm right. not trying to mold them into this or mold them into that. Like, yo, you either are who you are, <laughs> and if we go submit to our purpose together, yeah. we got a similar purpose, yeah. then we can walk through it. But if not, we got to go our separate ways, and I, and I let it go, man. And I know this might not be the popular opinion, but this is go for it, especially for our men, because it's a man podcast. Right. But yeah. I say people in general, the fastest way to get over somebody to get somebody you stupid. You can't tell Don't do that. Come on, man. That's <laughs> Don't do that. Come See, that's on. how. No, 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 I wouldn't say 100% you should do that. I don't think 100% yo, you should do that. Hey, it helped me. No, I'm just saying. Not 100%. So, you know, I ain't saying have sex with them. I ain't saying have sex. But no, I'm saying, hey. man, build. So go out and date, man. So you saying you're going to deal, you. deal, talk to another girl, but you ain't going to try to do nothing. You look for friends. friend. No, actually, for real, yes. I swear on everything. And then, but you know what? The women love that, though. Because now they trying to... They want to be that one to like get you to change your mind and try to bro. take it from you. I'm telling you, bro. I'm not I believing you. I'm Yo, not believing you. Man, bro. You ain't tried. You, 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 you ain't tried. I understand, but I want to. When you heartbroken, on, I ain't worried about sex. And that, yeah. and that was heartbroken. Like, <laughs> like, like, I worry about that. I don't worry about none of that stuff. But I'm going to tell y'all, like, what he's, what he's saying, like, me trying to clarify is like, don't just cut off women, you know what I'm saying? Cause you heartbroken and you just want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Good way. you know what I mean? Sure. Don't just cut off women, <laughs> but don't go looking for what you're missing in another person. Yeah, don't go looking that's for just, love. You're just no. gonna keep on rolling and, and keep on coming across the same problem. You're gonna keep attracting the same type of people mm -hmm. and you're gonna go through the same type of relationship and break up over and over again, just jump into the next. So I just wanted to clarify yeah. that. Yeah, like, yeah. He, definitely, he said, I thought he was just gonna break up and just start raw dog and everything. You know what I mean? He's going in. I, I, uh, I, I definitely, like, like, I got some whole shit in me. So I wanted, I like, I like when I break up, I be like, yo, because I've been committed for however long. When I broke, when the, when I, the younger me, the younger me was savage. When I break up, I go ahead and fuck whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and let this out. You know what I mean? Like. Dang. Play around. Yeah, built up in you. Yeah, but <laughs> but I know I had it in me, but I never acted on it. it. Like every time I broke up, I did look at myself and I take the uh, do the same thing, the assessment. Like, why did you really break up with me? And then not to get back with the girl, I would like if for one, if we break up, I usually give it a grace period. Like, are we really done? Are we really broken up? Because if I but if I'm if I'm in a relationship with you, I'm committed. I'm faithful. Black men don't cheat. Black uh, men don't cheat. Yeah. Black men don't cheat. Hey. <clears throat> so. <laughs> Black men don't so, cheat. <laughs> so if I'm there, I'm all the way there. So if we can't make it work, more than likely the girl broke up with me. Yeah. Um, if we can't make it work, it's something there. And I want to know what the something is. Sometimes people just need to be with themselves for a little bit, especially earlier on, you're young, you're, you're still learning yourself, mm -hmm. right? And I, um, I'm a lover and I'm a hard lover. I love raw and passionately. So a lot of people can't handle my love. I understand I had to come to terms with this. And I had to learn how to like divvy it up because I can't just give it all to one person. It's, mm -hmm. it's too much, it's too much. I'll leave it your lady for. I've been with her for about to be 14 years. Yeah, see, he's you know slow, I mean? slow with it. Yeah, see, you can prove your point. Just pull out just a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, I had to dial it back a little bit. Yeah. Not to dim my light or nothing, but I had to understand, like, how other people are going to be receptive of it. Like, even with these guys, I love these guys. And I can be on them, I can be aggressive, but it's like, it's like, that's not them, or that's not how they are. I have to learn yeah. who the person is, and then how to approach the person. Um, now that was my struggle. So what I would do when it comes to the breakup mm -hmm. is the same thing. I would do the assessment, but I would not to be uh, trying to get back with the girl, but I'll go to the girl and ask her like, what was the, you know, let me get the juice of it. Like not to try to get back with you, but what did, what really happened? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you would say, get the data. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let me get the, let me, what's, what's the data on this? Like what happened? What was the real reason that we, you know what I'm saying? Data. I ain't getting no data on. I, I, I would. I, I would. He was getting the data. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you like stats, you know what I mean? I do. Not <laughs> on this. 
Hey, I ain't trying to play back this. This is, this is, this is how I, I get my own survey. I get my own stats. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what did I do? And if, I, if it sounds similar to the last one, I'm like, okay, that's really something that I got to work on. That's really me. Or was that just you and your problem? You know, yeah. like, I. Right. And then I have to really work on acceptance. Because you said it, um, the attachment. I get attached to people. If I yep. if I love you, I love you. You know what I mean? And you know it, you feel it. Like I said, I love relentlessly. Um, unconditional love, and it doesn't matter to me. Like, I've, I've gotten a lot of pain, a lot of scars from it, but it also built my heart up. So I'm, I'm tough with love, you know what I mean? And um, I, I really had to work on the attachment. Like, once you're there, you're there. And everybody's not there. It's seasonal people, mm -hmm. really. It's seasonal mm -hmm. people. That's right. Like, and, and, being the mindset, I'm always looking for what I can learn from someone or something anyway. So if wow. this is a situation, it was situational, then I what did what can I get from this situation? What led up to this? I'm I'm paying attention to body language, mm -hmm. I'm paying attention to patterns, I'm paying attention to what's said and what's meant, because usually what's said is not what's meant, or what's mm -hmm. meant is not what's said. Right. You know, um, I tell people now like fuck my feelings just go ahead tell me like don't don't try to don't try to you know give me the soft or the spoon feed me something because you think it's going to hurt me i'd rather you tell me the truth and it hurt uh -huh. than you to you know keep it bottled in or lie to me to try to conserve my feelings forget that just be real with me be honest like yeah. you know what i mean so the girls they told you straight to your face they don't want damn Mm -hmm. I, I'm supposed to be right, but I, to the chest. I, like, would yeah. push them, I would push them oh, to that limit, men. though. Right, yeah. I would push them to that limit. Yeah. So how, you how, would you, be cool. how would you deal with? How did how did you break up? Deal with breakups? Real breakups. <laughs> yeah, like, I like, want to hear this one. Just yeah. like fuck them bitches. <laughs> no man, I'll be honest, y'all. I'll be honest, man. I'll be honest. Yeah. I told you in the last video. I don't know which video was that, but I said my line. Um, oh, I was semi simple. Semi simple. I never forget that. I tell the truth. I tell the truth. Some some men they don't wake up just being just how they are. They right, thirty yeah. years right. Some moms Especially. about it. It's all about growth. Ain't yeah, it. I was a little selfish. I admit it. It's cool. It's cool. Admit it. In the we teenagers, in the teenagers, in the in the early twenties, yeah, I was there. Uh, only solely because I don't know if it was a mixture. When I first started dating, I was sick. I ain't my first girl. Yeah, I was sick, yeah, so yeah. it was different for me. To understand, like, um, like you talked about, like if a girl broke up with you, dang, that just don't hurt. But it, made, it amplified mine because I didn't know if it was me or it was because I was sick. Right. So that's the difference I had to go through. I don't know if they left because of that or it was because I was doing something wild. So yeah. at first I used to take it hard. Tell like, when was the time? It was like middle of the twenties. I don't know. It was in that middle. I was, you know, chilling, doing my thing. I was working with him. Yeah. FedEx mm -hmm. was doing a thing, yeah, some yeah. bread. You know, it wasn't really bread, but in my eyes, it was bread. Mm -hmm. And that same thing, I was dealing with a shorty, and then something happened. I was just all up in the feelings, man, like a little, a soft little something. I was. I was looking back, I was a little soft. Like a man. Man, yeah. So I, um, <laughs> you know how your parents know stuff. So your parents know things. Pops looked at me and was like, what's up with you? Like, <laughs> when you said Pops, I already knew it. Yeah, that. they mad already know it. That's how he talked. He's like, man, what's up, what's up, what's up with you? I was like, man, you know. He was like, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that. Man, you know who you are? Man, you better stop acting like that. Man, she be asking for you back. But see, man, don't worry about that. What's wrong with you? Look at you. Come on, bro. Like, he just, you know, he gave you that pat. I'm like, oh, okay. As soon as I saw that, ever since then, I started, like, to chill. Started to work out more, you know, really working myself. Like I said, it, I laughed about it, but you know, to assess yourself, look at yourself, and I was like, yo, how can I be in some years? And that's why I really got into the fitness tip and started working out, started really moving. So it all it all depends on your certain circumstances. I wouldn't say that I act like this now, I act like it now because uh, they would say, you got hurt, or like something like that. They'd be like, oh, you act this way because you got hurt. I was like, no, I, was like, I feel like I was always this way. It just certain things was hindering my certain type of level, of certain greatness that I wanted to be as far as my mentality mm. when it came to breaking breaks up and all that and how I felt about myself when somebody would leave my side. Yeah. That sometimes comes back to you. Yeah. So accountability, man. Accountability. So yeah. you gotta change your man. mindset, man. So I feel like I was it was already up in, you know, pause. I'm gonna say it was I mean, I mean you know it, it was it the thoughts were inside Silly, me. Man. <laughs> I thought the thoughts were inside, so I just had to, it just had to come out. Once it came out, I got a little old. I started, you know, 
<laughs> you know about that? And so I, I feel what they saying. I was, I was there the same way, man. We all gotta yeah. grow. You know. Yeah. Right? Yo, I'm gonna tell you, and I, I, you know, I was playing around a little bit at the beginning. Right. But, you know, I do agree that you should definitely be talking to people. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. And, but I think you need to first, like you said, you gotta deal with yourself first, man. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta get, like you gotta work on. For me, I say just in my perspective, man, I had to work on building my confidence. Because exactly. a lot of times, man, when people get broken up with, if you haven't been working on it already, mm -hmm. that's a blow to your ego. That's a blow to your confidence, how you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to build that back up, man. And the reason why I say go talk to women, when they come in, they be like, oh, you you a good guy. You look good and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Whether we like to admit or not, yeah. that boosts the, that boosts your confidence. You, that. you know what I'm saying? Man. That, right? So I that's why I say, like, you got to you gotta get back out, man. Because I was the one. Man, I stay in the house. Yeah, isolate. You yeah, you know what I'm isolate, saying? Man. Like, yo, we start yeah. start getting all sad and all that. Right. Yeah. Be listening to love listening songs to music, and all you know that what stuff. What, what was it? Um, what was what? the one? Emotional by mm -hmm. Paul Thomas. Mm -hmm. Bruh, man, I was crying all that stuff, bruh. <laughs> right. Hey, I ain't, ain't no shame honest, in my man. Game for real. Yeah. Yeah. I talked about it on my podcast, man. I, I got no shame in my game, man. And, it's, though, and if you do cry, like, it's nothing wrong with that, but you got to get get over it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. Through it. That's the part. You, you, yeah, you, you got to get through, through, through it. it. Get out your system and yeah, right, yeah and let on, it go. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate the time you had with that person. Right. Let's go make some new memories. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And just keep on going. But you definitely got to work on yourself, man. I, I ain't saying go out there and just be messing around mm -hmm. and be trying to go out here and hurt other people because you hurt. Exactly. You got to focus on yourself, oh. man. Heal yourself up. But go out here and mingle with people. Go with your boys, man. Spend exactly. some time with them. Get out the house. Don't just sit there and wallow in your self pity. Exactly. Get out there, man. Go have some fun, yo. Oh, man. And they, that that's a psychological thing. Yeah. They say, um, like whenever somebody depressed, we not even talking about breaking up. Right. They say when you depressed or whatever, just walk around with a smile on your face. Right. Yeah. Like it's physical. It's physical things you could do to help boost your yep. your self esteem yes. and your energy and stuff up. Yes. So go out, man. Get some sunlight, man. Go for a walk. Work out. Yeah, that's man. a big one. But it, man, I, it's so yeah. many. It's so many people I know that started their workout journey. Not not G, but like other people I know. They started because they a breakup. Yeah. Dead no, serious. That'll yeah. change your life, man. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to make her, but she never mess with yeah. <laughs> like, dang, bro. Chill. But they Damn. working on themselves, man. That's the progress. And then right. you end up falling in love with the process, man. Exactly. And it end up helping you in the long run. And you're so, the one yeah. getting the results from the action that you're putting in. Yeah. Exactly. So it could start off, you know, a little spiteful. Like, you know what I mean? I'm going to make her miss what she, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. that's that's true, man. Like, you speaking all facts, yeah. like your posture, when you sit up straight, you know, we're gonna do a video on like how to approach women and stuff too. Ooh, so, your first time I've heard of that. I like that <laughs> so one. So I guess we gonna rock with that one. I ain't hear that one. I like that one, y'all, yeah. Your posture, your smile, what are you putting out there? Even if you're not feeling it on the, on the outside, they say like, going back to the psychology, they say it's easier to act your way into a new way of thinking mm. versus thinking your way into mm. a new way of acting. Mm. You know? So when you're isolated, you're thinking and you're like, this is what I'm trying to do, this is what I want to do. Mm. Versus when you're out there and you put yourself out there, like if you're not confident mm. and you want to be confident, I like it. Act confident, mm -hmm. and the confidence will build. <laughs> so you mean like the same thing? You um, fake it till you make it. Yeah, it's true. That's good. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, yeah man, yeah. it's true. You know when you first approaching women right. and stuff like that, bro, you, you be nervous, to, right? You fake it like sweaty, you love something. You look like you know what I mean? Yeah, right. Man, and I, I mean, shit. <laughs> and, and you got to build that up. Like you right. have to build that up. That's why you pointed it out. Like talk to people, talk to other women, mingle a little bit. Yeah. You know, because like I said, it's a blow. You get that confidence, it's hurt. And when you wallow in your pain, then you start to justify it. This is the part that I want the guys to take. Because like you said, hurt people hurt people. So when y'all get so cold or so bitter and all women are the same, like mm -hmm. fuck these bitches, you know, like you want to get to that point, it's because you're hurt and you haven't healed. Don't don't hurt them too much. Trey. Nah, don't fuck that. You With them then. <laughs> With them then. Dang. Because y'all gotta y'all gotta stop y'all gotta stop being so soft about your emotions. It's emotions. Right. You know what I mean? And a strong man mm -hmm. is true. one who is in control of his emotions. Yeah, very true. You know, but how you get in control of it? You gotta get in control of it through action. You gotta be aware, 
You know, you got to stop saying stuff to yourself like, I'm a man, I don't have no feelings. Or like, nah, that's some bitch shit for me to be. But you but you go home and you crying. Like, come on, bro. Like, that's that's not the fake it to the make. That's not it. Like, we can tell, like you said, I can yeah. sniff a, small, a soft man from really a mile can. away. Yeah. Well, like, really can. we can tell when, you, and it's not that you're soft, it's just that you're yeah. hurt. Yeah. You're fragile right now. Mm. So if you was to put yourself out there or say, for instance, a female says she's attracted to you, you know, for whatever reason, then it's like, nah, I can't get into that because I don't want to get back to where it was. So you're still in the last relationship. Yep. You haven't healed, mm. right? So you have to go out and talk to people and mingle with others and then talk to your fellas who's been there. Like, what did you do? How did you over, you know, like somebody who's been in a long relationship and they broke up. Like, even, even to this day, like I'm married, I love my wife, I'm not focused on a breakup or nothing, but it's clear for both of us that if we were to part, I'm still going to go forward. Mm. I'm gonna go through my, my process. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to heal. It's gonna hurt me. I'm gonna cry. This is my heart, this is my rib right here, right? right? I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna feel it, but that's me. I'm an emotional being and I don't run from it. I'm gonna go through that, you know what I mean? And I don't know the time frame, but I'm gonna be right back out. I'm gonna be talking to others, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be continuing. Not, you know, not to say nothing towards her, but it's me. I have to instill it in me. And as a man, you have to heal and you have to continue. Because don't no woman want no simpish man. You said it. You know? Don't no woman want a man who can't talk to women, who don't have no confidence, and then blame women for how he feel because of one woman. Damn, Trey. <laughs> I was just soaking it in. Yo, listen, go. That's, you, so y'all have to, y'all have to, y'all have to build yourselves. You did man. good. I like one point that you had in there, which was real vital because a lot of men do that. It's like um, they go to the point where the other side, like mm -hmm. Paul was saying, so they break up. They get to a point they trying to just talk to different girls. And some will be friends, of course. And some they just want to just be. Right. And then they take it to a whole nother level, like what he said that all women is just horrible and all that. You can't do that. That's how a lot of people, and it might be some of the, um, uh, what's the community, the red pill people, they right. probably may come to this video and understand <laughs> it. There's a, there might be a few red pill dudes that are gonna come and look at this video and even see that. Um, a partial of it is right, what he said. I'm not saying 100%, because everything's not 100%. But for mm -hmm. the most part, yeah, it's emotional. You just ain't over something. <laughs> right. You ain't the only one that been through a bad man. breakup, bro. Right. We gotta understand is how you don't want the women to say, all oh, men ain't nobody. If you don't want, you don't, they don't want you to say the same thing. All women ain't nobody. Come on, man. So it, it works both ways, bro. Um, shoot, what Cat Williams said on that on stand up. He said, um, the girl was like, she was like, all this, she was like, all these men are horrible. I can't say nobody. He was like, no, you gotta figure out what's what your your stuff is. Keep attracting messed up dudes. Exactly. So they may you may yeah. have to go back to assess like they said and be like, yo, why do I keep attracting these girls that keep doing certain things, man? <laughs> there might be something wrong with me. Yeah, they, exactly. You carrying yourself a certain way. You going that way. You're not being leading. You're doing something. It has to be an equation there because you can't go. And just quit off on being not being married, not being with women, just because somebody didn't hurt you. If that exactly. did happen, you don't, don't it go that way, bro. To everybody, everybody, exactly. Just every, understand, yo. People get cheated on every day, B. Yeah, every you know, day. <laughs> every day you get cheated on every day. Yeah, B. so get you don't do that. You no, you can't do that because you know, we all about man. community, all about being together and growing. Right. And right. and the number one thing that we need in our community is more families. Come so on. you gonna say you are gonna be by yourself? That it just don't compete with me, man. You can't be, you can't be all the way black power ain't compete with me, man. It's just not. Going off, man. Because man, it's the truth. It's the truth. I tell you, I've been that way. No matter how much I ever say, I know I have to be with a woman today. I gotta create a family and create kids, man. Mm. Create a legacy. Yeah. Mm. Ain't no way around it, man. I mean, it ain't. We gonna just be by yourself, Alpha. Break up, be by yourself, Alpha. Just right. Just and then chill. It just ends. It just <laughs> You ain't no lineage. You ain't got no nothing. Like you just. So think about that, man. I know, I know some of y'all watch this video, man. Some red, red pill dudes like, man, forget them girls. I ain't doing. It. Chill, bro. You be good. Just go talk to somebody. Just chill. Go do some push-ups. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Get yourself together. Right. Get back out there, bro. Get back in the game. You be all right. You be all right. You will forget about it about a year or so, man. Well, right, right. I, I don't remember half them girls. I don't remember their names. I'm not trying to be mean, but it's like early teens. You said you don't remember their names. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, late teens, maybe a little bit of a Bro, blur. I remember him, he was a thug. <laughs> he, he, he is a thug. I was just That's chilling, savage, just doing bro. my thing. I don't remember having not. I'm just telling, it's just the truth. Yeah, exactly. uh, it's just younger. I was younger. Ain't nobody remember having 
Boosie and Webby, bro. Y'all yeah, here thinking. Every, <laughs> you already know. <laughs> the pay fully, man. I'm trying to tell you. It's, it's clean now, but hey. I've grown, I've matured. We are all men. Yeah. We're all savage. But we all yeah. know how to <laughs> get how to dose yeah. it. You know what I exactly, mean? Exactly, man. And at the end of the day, it's accountability. And nothing is final. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is finite. So when you go through a, a breakup, fellas, don't let that one breakup break you. You know what I mean? You still want women. You still want women a certain type of way because you wouldn't have been in a relationship in the first place. Right. And, and, and please don't blame love as the problem, okay? It might have been that person. She might have loved you wrong. She might have had, you know, false intentions. It might have been you. Yeah. It might have been you. Whatever the case is, just, you know, analyze yourself, heal through it, get through it, get back out there. I like it, man. All right, that's it. That's, that's it. All right. Yeah, you know how we just we just stopped the video.